best moments in the field, uh, I think, rather than a particular find, was when we excavated, well, there's two, there's two moments. Um, one of them was when we found uh, a, a, a large Anglo-Saxon plough coulter in a sunken featured building in 2010. And because you don't get plough coulters in Anglo-Saxon England, um, ours is the very first one that's ever been discovered from the 7th century. None of us had any idea what it was and it took a flurry of emails from the field to various experts to come back to us tell us the significance of our find. Um, the other exciting moment in the field was the slow realisation in sort of 2012 when we came back with our AHRC funded dig that we had um, discovered uh, an enormous uh, timber hall, the foundations for a timber hall and it sort of crept up on us and then um, Garbor started uh, in sort of drawing up some plans of each grid square and that sort of thing and we, we suddenly sort of realised, oh my goodness, we have one of the most significant Saxon uh, settlement finds in the last 30 years and that was incredibly exciting. The best moments I've had in the field have come when we found something that's either been quite exciting or suspected was there in Italy. We were looking for a colonnade that we were sure were there, was there kept digging all day long and just couldn't find it until we hit the very base and saw it there. Um, and at Silchester as well, on the very last week of the excavations, a find came out that I'm actually studying at the moment, so that was good to, that was quite exciting to see. I think the best moment I've had in the field was probably at the end of the 2012 season at Silchester. So we were frantically trying to process um, the last few samples before the end of the season. And um, my friend Cindy, who was the science manager, pulled out some carbonised olive stones, which I have here, from a sample that we were sorting through. So these are really special because they're the only ones we found um, from bulk samples at Silchester. And it's just really fantastic that we were able to pull them out at the end of the season and then go and tell Sue, who had been digging his pit, what we'd found. When maybe you have waken up very early in the morning, but still you you don't get tired because you are enjoying what you're doing. So I cannot des describe any particular moments, but very often you, you don't get tired because you're just very keen on what you're doing. And this should be the, the way fieldwork, fieldwork works if, when it's effective and it means that you are liking what you're doing. Um, oh, we've had lots of good moments in the, in the field, we've had some bad moments in the field as well. I think probably some of those, some of those long walks in Crete, um, coming down some of those beautiful gorges to the, to the sea. Students have worked hard, male and female, and they finish up at Marmara Bay on the South Cretan coast and um, we go for a drink in the taverna uh, and they sometimes go for a swim. <laughs> the the satisfaction of actually installing equipment at my monitoring sites um, was probably the best feeling I had in the field. Um, there were many really good moments, um, so it's difficult to choose some, but um, it can be anything from, from finding something, uh, digging something up that no one has ever seen before, um, that you're the first to see, or um, working out how the site is, is how everything works and what what's, are the explanations for what, what you're finding and, and discussing that with other people. And also, of course, after the field work in the evenings, uh, having a beer with the team, I think that's <laughs> probably a very nice moment too. That's some of the best moments I had. One of the best moments that really sticks in my memory is when I worked in Jordan um, in Wadi Fainan and just going up to the site for the first time and looking around at the mountains and the incredible archaeology that we found there, early Neolithic settlement, um, and just, yeah, some of the incredible finds that are coming out of the ground, and just thinking how lucky I was to be there and working on the project. Finding my first small find, that was, that was quite important to me, and that was my second year, just didn't really call it. It was actually a group thing where we all joined together and decided to have a conception of the naughty trench. So we had a corner of the trench where we put a little plastic stool and um, had a big label on the computer printout saying the naughty trench and everyone had photos with it. It's kind of a good example of cohesion and um, community spirit really. I guess it was probably in Dublin we ended up, the result of our project was really good because we stumbled upon a lady who 
was kind of so well connected to everything we could possibly have needed to find in Dublin. Um, our, her interview was so successful it kind of answered everything we needed to. Also, um, we came together a lot as a group. Yeah. The cohesion really increased quite a lot, which was enjoyable. And so we yeah. made strong relationships with people within our year group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks. I think very fondly of all of my field work. Um, experience. There are many moments. Um, many of them don't have to necessarily to do with the actual work, but with the people uh, and the team and the bonds that are created.